passion, frustration, confusion, all feelings that can be summed up in one four-letter word, not that word, <laughs> love. Right. <laughs> We're talking about the dark romantic comedy, which is kicking off its second so season on Netflix. So it stars Gillian Jacobs and Paul Rust, who co-created the series along with producer Judd Apatow. And in the new series, Gillian's character Mickey talks about her newfound sobriety. Let's take a look. So now he's like keeping track of me. I feel like he's got like a chart in his apartment where it's like number of meetings per week. Oh, I'm, I'm barely exaggerating. Oh, yeah, but you know what? God, I wish I had something like that. No, Andy. What? No, we're never gonna make out. Don't, please don't say never. <laughs> I kick it. I love it. He's so funny. You guys are hilarious. Yeah. So your your idea with love, you guys, Judd and Paul, you guys created it together, and it was originally pitched as a movie. What switched? Oh, yeah. Well, my wife, Leslie Arfin, and I, we had an idea for a movie, and we presented it to Judd, and Judd was like, this would be a terrible movie. <laughs> uh, but he had an idea for a while for a TV show that explored sort of one relationship in a, in a, in a gradual way, and yeah. he said, you know what? I like these characters. Why don't we marry it with this TV show? Although right, I have Chuck. no interest in it anymore because I heard there's an opening, and I want to host The Apprentice. You do? <laughs> yeah, so I would like to tell you that I'm done with the show. That's I feel they like... Are he's looking firing for himself. So new, but, I mean, this is the right network. And then my kids will be the advisors. They'll be like <laughs> Ivanka and George. And then you could... Run for president. Okay, this hey. is going to be great. We, you have your career all figured out. Go Long term plan. Godspeed. Manifesting. Godspeed. Uh, Godspeed. Yeah. All right, you know, so your wife is yes. on the set a lot, yes. and you are obviously in love. Romantically or close involved. To it. Right. Is that, yes. Yep. Gillian, is that awkward for you? Or uh, you just. Put it I out mean, in how would you feel if you're doing a sex scene with an actor and their wife is on the monitor? <laughs> it's not it's a little awkward. awkward, it's a awkward. I have to say they're both so gracious about yeah. it and have never made me feel awkward about it, but I just get so nervous. Yeah. Um, but... I'm probably the most uncomfortable, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Leslie's the least. Yeah. She's the coolest she's the cool about one. it, and she's having to watch it, oh, so yeah, yeah. props she's to like, her. That doesn't look right. We're just really? yeah. hard. You're good. You're so, like, really? Bring some of that home, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so it's been getting great reviews, Jeff. What do you think? How does it resonate with so many people? Uh, well, I think people relate to it because it's a very simple idea. We're just yeah. really examining one couple. It's fun to be on Netflix because you could binge the whole season, the first yes. season, then the second season is on Friday. Although sometimes I forget everything about a show mm -hmm. in that year when you're waiting for it to come back. Yes. Exactly. Like yes. I'll watch Narco season two and be like, is he a good guy or a bad guy? Yeah. Can't recall. Can't recall. And then you Google him and you remember. Yeah, remember? He's a bad if guy. you remember yes. the first season of Narcos, you didn't really watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Gillian, your character is a little bit confused. She's very wild. Mm -hmm. And I heard that's the opposite of, of you. So how do you get into that role? I heard you had to learn how to, to smoke, for example. Yes. So uh, I've never drank in my life. I've never done a drug in my life. And so my character, of course, uh, is much more adept at that. So <laughs> we kind of switched roles on camera. So Paul, in between takes, was teaching me how to smoke with a one-hitter. <laughs> and oh, then, it's like, not like this. You got to inhale. Yeah. Oh, no. And wow. then he was observing what it looks like to never have smoked weed before yes, yes. by watching me fumble with it. So it was a yeah. real body switching comedy for a minute. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I like the you that, by the way, on, that's Gino. true love, calling each other out on national TV. She's just waiting for you to admit it and apologize. Yeah. That's all. Uh, yeah. And some have called this the anti-rom-com, which I yeah. love because mm -hmm. it's real. It makes you feel yes. pretty good about your own relationship, right? Yes, no, I think. Or, very few people will watch it and think it's that hard for me, yeah. right? Like it's, right. It, it, it gets unpleasant. But it's funny because there's no comedy if things are working out. Yeah. Who wants to watch Happy Couple Show? Well, Jordan not, does. No, no, no. I was agreeing. With not not right. people that have been married more than five years. I can tell yeah. you that much. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you can you. catch the new season of Love streaming on Netflix this Friday. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.